So good morning, everybody. Uh, we're reading through uh, 2 Samuel uh, chapters 19, 20, and 21. How do you evaluate a, a character from, from the Bible? Because uh, there's no filters. Um, Yahweh has presented uh, people in the Bible uh, with nothing hidden. It, it's with their, the good points and their bad points. Uh, it has not been sanitized uh, like we do these days. We, we tend to uh, write about people's good points and we leave off uh, the bad points. But this is, this is really raw stuff. Um, f for a while, because of it, for a while there, I had uh, a lot of problems with, with David um, just because of David's bad points. And it took some maturing in the Word and maturing in my walk uh, with the, the Lord before I, I got to a point where I actually, um, I, I came to love David. I, I came to love his heart, his relationship with the Lord, his desire for, for his people and the nation. And um, yeah, so what do you do with a creature like Job, the, the general of, of David's army? Um, here's, here's a man who was obviously very loyal to David. Uh, David could trust him in, in that way. Job always had David's back. He was just, you, you wouldn't doubt his loyalty to David. Uh, he was also loyal to the nation. Uh, he absolutely loved his, Israel. He is loyal to his family, to his brothers, uh, to a fault. Um, he, uh, he got revenge uh, for one of them uh, against a very good man and to the point where David um, said, you know, what am I supposed to do with, with, with you guys? You're just too powerful for me. And, uh, and, and David had to demonstrate with his actions that he had nothing to do with this, the death of the, this, uh, uh, this righteous man. And, and, and yet we have this dressing down of David. Joel, the general, takes David aside and says, you're, you're about to lose um, your army and, and the nation. You're, you're about to lose it all because of, of your actions, of what you're doing, what you're doing is wrong. And, and he, he really um, tore into David. But he, he didn't do it from, from a mean sense whatsoever. Uh, David needed to be spoken to and there was nobody else around David who was strong enough to, to tell David what was going on, what was wrong uh, and, and what was about to happen because of his actions. But, but Job had such a relationship with David uh, that he could do that and he did do that and, and because of it he actually rescued David uh, from absolute disaster. He rescued the nation uh, from disaster and, and it was good that, that, that David um, had Job there. But this didn't take away from the fact that Job was a murderer, that he was underhanded. Uh, you know, it's, it's this dichotomy uh, thing that, that, that's going on. Um, so, is the Lord restricted? Can, can he only use those who are perfect in every way? I, I don't think so. That's not what the Word tells me. Uh, Yet, yeah, that, that's, that's how we act. That's how we treat. That's how we treat... Um, people who are in, in, in position uh, of, of responsibility. And, and yes, there has to be a decided difference. There has to be um, greater accountability. The word tells us that. Uh, there will be consequences. There, there's, there's all kinds of, of, of things that, that point out, but there's, you know, can a, per, can a leader make a mistake and continue to lead? Uh, are, are they done in? Are you just supposed to wash your hands uh, of, a, of a leader? And, and yeah, I, I believe that there, there's a difference in accountability because there's a difference in, in knowledge. Uh, but at the same time, um, I, I believe in the redemption of, of my Lord Jesus Christ. And I believe he, he can redeem all situations and all people. Um, so we trust him for that. Because we, we've got to be real. Just like we read in, in Job, where he has these great things and these bad things, and we, we read David, he has these great things and these bad things. And, and I think um, we have to trust the heart to the Father and, and let him deal with people in the way that he's going to deal with them. Right, that's my two cents on the matter. 
and uh, I think it's pertinent for the way that we treat our, our leaders. Uh, if it's a consistent um, downfall, if it's a, if, if it's a consistent fault, um, I, I think then you know that that's that's one thing. Um, but when it's uh, it's areas that, that people have to mature in, then you know we have to consider that. So you guys be blessed, be encouraged. Now that I've confused you completely, right? <laughs> Love you guys. Have a great day.